So Ronnie, what were you like as a player? I was uh, a leader, I think. Uh, always been uh, as a captain or assistant camp to captain in, in my teams. And um, but uh, I was too slow to be, get on the highest level. I've seen some footage of you. You used to get injured quite a lot, didn't you? Yeah, you can say you can say that. I've been lucky though. I haven't broken my nose. I should have done if you're a central defender. But uh, of course, when you have played central defender for. Uh, 15 years, you, you get uh, a lot of uh, hard tackles and, and things, and, and sometimes it goes against your head as well. So, um, I, I thank you for just saying that. <laughs> <laughs> so, you sort of realised, I presume, that you weren't going to be a top player at some stage of your career. Is that when you thought, right, I'm going to be a top manager? I always like to, to train teams and uh, work with people. So, when I was uh, 20 years old, I started training teams. So, so it's always been uh, uh, a thing I, uh, I've been interested in. You won the title in Norway. Just put into perspective how impressive that was. If you see it in, in Premier League, it's like if um, yeah, see if it's Aston Villa going to win the league. And um, I hope to, to bring that success here to, to Celtic as well. But it's, of course, much easier here to win things because the money is bigger compared to the other uh, Scottish club. And the players are unbelievably good, uh, comparing to, to the, other, the other Scottish clubs. I know some people were surprised that you got the job here at Celtic. Were you surprised that you got the job? Of course. You never expect that. Uh, if you had asked me for six months ago if I was going to try Celtic, I would, <laughs> would laugh at you. And I was sitting here after two months. I'm, I'm very comfortable that I that made a good uh, and the right decision. And I hope and uh, I will show us that uh, I think Celtic has done it. And what are you going to bring to Celtic? I want to, that the fans is enjoying to, to watch uh, Celtic and especially at home that we in, in Celtic Park should attack the opponent and, uh, and have the ball and the possession and, uh, and the control of the game. Would you describe yourself at all as an eccentric? We enjoyed your press-ups in your pants over in Norway. <laughs> is that a one-off or, or <laughs> are we likely to see that again in the future? Um, I was uh, not, not the most proud moment in my life. When I sat the day after and I saw it on television with my kids, it was not very, very nice to see. But a promise is a promise. And I said I'd do it again if we take the triple, and I will do that if they want to see it. And the first in drone is NK Maribor. You've been given a second chance in the Champions League this season. Have you been here long enough to sort of appreciate the, the history of Celtic in Europe and, and how much this means to the club? Yeah, I understand that. Uh, as I said many times that I've been uh, more here last year against Barcelona, and that's the most unbelievable atmosphere I've ever been to, and I've been to many matches. So, uh, to be a part of that would be unbelievable. 